We got the San Francisco Giants taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks with Birdsong and Rodriguez on the mound. I'm going to do a screen share today. I'm going to dive into the stats, trends, and top looks for this game here in just a minute. I am Ronald Kabang from wagertalk.com and themoneyballer.com. If you're looking for premium picks, make sure to check out my page on wagertalk at wt.buzz backslash rc. You can see it scrolling on the bottom down there. I do have a Monday Night Football 4% best bet available. I also released a 2% client play for free on that link um, today. Currently the number one handicapper this month, 56, 24, and 1. Uh, so far this month, a 70% hit rate. My all-access clients are up 59 units, uh, nearly 59 units this month. And uh, currently, my current streak right now, 18 and 4 in the last 8 or 9 days. So 82% over the last 8 or 9 days. And right now, there's a deal at Wager Talk. You can get, uh, you can purchase a 90-day all-access pass for $849, and you get 30 days free, which is a $299 value. Um, so that's, uh, you know, basically a four-month time frame right there. And it's the busiest time of the year. You have all these extra sports that are about to start. NBA is coming soon. NFL is going. WNBA playoffs. NBA is coming. Um, NHL, all that stuff is going on uh, in the next few months here. And uh, yeah, so that's 120 days total for 849, which breaks down to less than 49 per week and uh, just over $7 per day. So let's dive into this matchup here between the Giants and the Diamondbacks using the moneyballer.com. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Did that work out? Let's see. Let me just make sure that, that there you go. All right. So it looks good. All right. So this is the moneyballer.com. I use this site uh, on a daily basis to handicap WNBA, MLB, and NFL. So I just head over to the MLB page and go down to the Giants and the Diamondbacks here. We have uh, Birdsong and Rodriguez, righty versus lefty. We have Diamondbacks as home favorites total around nine we have the diamondbacks on our rating system here uh with a plus two so it does look to like the edge goes to the diamondbacks as far as uh, the money line goes but uh there is some value towards the giants as far as where the implied odds are if we look at the schedule this is the first game of the series between the both teams giants coming off of a win a 2-0 win to the royals and Diamondbacks, they failed to complete the sweep yesterday against the Brewers. They lost 10, 9 to 10. If you look at the last five starts here for Birdsong, coming off a start where he gave up three earned runs, um, only gave up, give, has only given up two home runs in the last uh, five starts, did get a rough one here against the Brewers. Um, four starts ago, one home run and five earned runs. Has some control issues here. And if we look at Rodriguez's last five starts, he's been consistently giving up runs, three home runs in the last five starts as well. Um, some control issues, but not as bad as Birdsong. Uh, did get up to six and a third innings pitch here, but before that, kind of doesn't get too far into the game. Let's go to the splits, matchup and splits. I like to do 30 days for MLB. Uh, so we look at the batting matchup here last 30 days. Does look like the edge definitely goes to the Diamondbacks here. They have more power, uh, 48 home runs. The uh, batting average and on-base percentage all there towards the Diamondbacks side. The Woba WRC Plus, definitely advantage to the Diamondbacks. Um, Giants do struggle with uh, striking out a lot, 27.5% on the K rate, and they don't walk a lot, 6.5% on the walk rate. If we look at the starting pitching matchup, Birdsong versus Rodriguez, um, I mean, I don't think they're that far off from each other. It does seem like there's a slight edge to Rodriguez. Uh, the 9.12K per nine is, is a solid look there with the Giants striking out at a, at a pretty high rate. Um, we know the Diamondbacks do rely on power here, and Birdsong has been giving up home runs at a pretty high home run per nine. High, uh, home run per nine right there. Some positive regression towards Edward, Eduardo Rodriguez. You can see his ERA 5.84, the FIP 4.06, XFIP 4.133. If we look, go to the bullpen, seems like the edge goes to the Giants here. Pretty strong edge to the Giants here. 6.06 ERA in the last 30 days for the bullpen. 
on the Diamondback side, but there's a ton of positive regression right here um, with the FIP and the XFIP well below, well, right below four with some slight negative regression here on the Giants side. Uh, let's look at the trends here. So last 30 days for the trends, Birdsong, one and three on the full game. Eduardo Rodriguez, one and one three and one in the first five. Nothing really significant on that side, kind of fading both starters. Uh, the totals over is here for Rodriguez. Eduardo Rodriguez, four and one to the over in the full game. Uh, Birdsong has a road dog, two and over in the first five, but oh, one and one to the under on the full game as a road dog. Giants don't see lefties often, only one in the last 30 days. Diamondbacks here versus right-handed pitchers, not strong as home favorites, just one, two, and one in the first five, two and two on the full game. To come from a total perspective, that one game did go under for the Giants versus left-handed pitchers. Nothing really significant on this side. Let's actually pull in uh, the full season for the trends real quick. All right, so five and three on the full game. First five, not a great spot here for Rodriguez. 0 2 and one as home favorites. Road dog situation with Birdsong, three one and one on his side. Um, so definitely looks towards Birdsong in the first five potentially. From a starter perspective, totals uh, slight lean to the over with Rodriguez, slight lean to the under for Birdsong. Splits versus left-handed pitchers, this is pretty significant right here and here. So Giants versus left-handed pitchers in the first five, one, six, and one as road dogs, one and seven on the full game. If you look at Diamondbacks versus right-handed pitchers here in the first five as home favorites, 16, eight, and six, and then Diamondbacks full game, 21 and nine on the full game. Uh, slightly into the over in both of these situations here, Road Dog versus left-handed pitchers for the Giants, and then home favorite versus right-handed pitchers for the Diamondbacks. So looking at, at the stats and trends, I do trust the Diamondbacks offense a little bit more. We did see some positive regression for Eduardo Rodriguez in the, um, in the last 30 days as well. The there's definitely an edge to the Giants from the bullpen perspective, but there's also a ton of positive regression on the Diamondbacks side too. So from a side perspective, I do think that the Diamondbacks are the right side. Um, this is a situation where maybe with the total at nine, I would look towards a Giants team total under or a Diamondbacks on the run line. Those would be the two ways that I look, you know, after diving into it from a stats and trends perspective. Um, with that said, that is the moneyballer.com. That's the handicap on the game. Let me go ahead and clear the screen here. There you go. <clears throat> and if you, uh, obviously you saw the moneyballer.com with the stats, trends, um, insights that's available for MLB, WNBA, NFL, NBA is coming around the corner. Uh, NHL is coming around the corner as well. College football, um, uh, those two sports, I think, will be maybe coming in the next week or month or so, uh, especially college football. That should be available in the next few weeks here. Um, but if you want to handicap those games, get these types of stats, trends, and insights, um, that's available over at themoneyballer.com. And we have the picks and packages over at wt.buzz backslash rc. Again, you know, really on a hot streak right now, seeing it well with the WNBA, MLB, college football, NFL, and Premier League as well. Those are all the sports that I'm handicapping at the moment and why I'm 18 and four so far, uh, you know, um, in the last eight or nine days. And number one at Wager Talk in the last month or so uh, is because, um, you know, the stats, trends, and insights from the moneyballer.com and also other websites that I use. But um, do you agree with my take on this game specifically? Um, or do you see this game playing out a little bit differently? Uh, drop your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, also don't forget to hit the likes, like on this video, subscribe it, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification button as well so you never miss another breakdown. Uh, whether you fade or follow, it is on you to make that call. Good luck with all your actions. Till next time, peace.